like when I was filling some of these uh, teeth for this exercise today, I would push my system be down there and I would get gutta purchase just squeezing out the end of that thing. What, okay, what, so what electric gonna, heat plug are you using? In the System V family, like there's more than one size. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the size of it. Are you? What's the temperature you're using? See, 200, 230. Ah, we might have discovered something. For continuous wave, you run about 200, 220 on your digital readout, mm -hmm. but that's for that big continuous plunge. So the temperature is lower because the instrument's heating, heating, you're plunging, and it's supposed to take you two to three seconds to get to length. So what happens if you, you need to keep the temperature lower because you can put thermocouples out here and you can measure the transdental temperature and you can get up to about 10 degrees really uh, quickly. So your device is fine. It's not a Calmus versus System B versus a touch and heat, but when we do interrupted classic vertical with System B, I want you to go to 350. Oh wow! Go up That's because see you're not you're not like I don't even yeah, think just, I, I don't even think I have one here. But we, yeah, we don't just you know you and I are going in cold, mm -hmm. set on the gutta percha, activate, plunge, let go, take it out, head, take it out. So we're just in there. So we know the temperature from Schiller's articles in his science. There's a, a, a 1.5 degree increase on the cable surface. So this is it. This is was using a Bunsen burner in, until the instrument was cherry red hot. Now obviously you come through the air, it's cooling down, but you go into the tooth, there's but smoke. Still, it's oh, it's really hot. So if you're doing interrupted where you plunge, take out a bite, pack, 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 pack go in, plunge. plunge, take out a bite, and by taking out a bite, we get deeper and deeper. If you're doing interrupted, I call that interrupted versus continuous wave, you should set your, your elements to 350 degrees. But you're just doing, you're much briefer. Now, you might say, okay, so Cliff, how does all that relate to this? I'm thinking you're not getting your gutta percha warmed well. And if you're gutta I need a pencil. C uh, can you hand me that tablet? Mm, gave me a single sheet of paper. So we'll just draw a tooth. And so you got this, and you got your final shape. And so, you know, if we do a section and look right at the end of the root, you could have a, a, an orifice, a frame that looked like that. So you fit your cone like this. Mm -hmm. So you might have a contact, contact, and, and contact, but there's discrepancies between the theoretically round cone and an irregular shaped foramen. Well, some colleagues, which I totally think this is stupid, they'll tell you to, to make a much bigger foramen to include all that. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can get two wall, you know, if I can get my cone thing like that, I'm happy. Because you and I are gonna get a, up to about, we'll call that the five millimeter level, when we, plunge in here with our instrument, we're going to get a heat wave that's going to go down through the cone. Even, even, even if we're just doing it for a second? Yeah. yeah. We'll get five millimeters of heat down there? Yeah. Really? So my point is, if you're at 200 degrees, this is never becoming sufficiently thermal softened. So when you load this, it's, it's, more, it's more cold, it's not elastic. So when we warm it... So it's bodily moving versus... Here's temperature yeah. and here's time. Yeah. Here. Uh, Here's body temp, 37 degrees. You're gonna heat it up to about 40. You're gonna work in about a... So you're, you're, you're catching it with your plugger and you're pushing down, but then the material cools, so you come out and you go and plunge. You heat it back up and you're packing. Do you understand? Yep. On, on these it's, moments... It's, it's, of, not, it's not getting... It's, it's kind of still stiff out here, so it's easier to push that hole. Then through. we're not getting the heat getting, wave down, so we're not getting this gutta percha to do this and mush in and take the configuration. And now that would trap your sealer, see? Mm -hmm. So maybe we found... Maybe this was a good talk. Now, let's go back and see Phyllis, but we're not done. Okay. So we'll save this, but i got to make sure, because I know it's 350 on Calamus, but I don't know what it... i got to make sure. We're, I'm telling him about the 350 degrees. He has an elements or system B, so it's all the same elements, system B, and he used Obdur too, so this is all fine. And 
he's using interrupted down packing just like we teach. He took it right out of the course, but he's operating at 200 degrees, and I'm telling him that's too cold. If you're doing it the continuous wave style, he's not. Should, okay. So he's doing classic interrupted. He's taking a bite, coming out, pack, 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 pack. Oh, okay. And he's taking a bite out, pack, 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 pack. So he's doing. 350. Well, on system B. System B. System B. You did that. She did the calibrations. Is why we're back here. The touch and heat is one to ten. The system B goes up with the max on system B. I don't know. I never. I mean, it'll go up to 400, 400 plus. I think he go. I think it's 350. I think so. Okay. I think so. So it's we don't lead. Warmer. So we don't lead you astray. Why don't you just go up to 300? and kind of see if things are working out. Go maybe to 350, but we're teaching 350 on Calamus. Okay. If you're doing continuous wave, it's just like Elements, 200. Okay. So I think one of the things is you're not getting the heat wave. Uh, see, if you wanted to really get that heat wave down there, you'd have to be doing that continuous plunge, and now your temperature's going like that, and now you're starting to get a heat wave into that apical segment, and now when you pack on it, it, it can be moldable. But in fact, if you're doing 200 in little bites, it's, we're, not, it's not getting warm enough. So you maybe have a, almost like the analogy would be like a single cone, and then if you have the irregular shaped foramen, you're driving a lot more sealer than you would need to.